California's ballot races attracting money not normally seen on a statewide level. Tens of millions of dollars spent on who will head California's public school system. KPI X5's Wilson Walker on what's behind the big money. Future, Tony Thurmond for state superintendent. I'm Marshall Tuck. I'm running for state superintendent. They are your two candidates for state superintendent of public instruction. Tony Thurmond, an East Bay social worker turned state assemblyman, and Marshall Tuck, who left the world of finance for school administration. Two Democrats who have some similar things to say. California, we can double graduation rates. We can get more kids prepared for college. You know, California needs to improve how we do our per pupil spending. But this race is anything but ordinary. Between them, these two candidates have raised more than $43 million. And if that sounds like a rather spectacular number for a down ballot race, well, it is. Think Beta O'Rourke and Ted Cruz in Texas, Bill Nelson and Rick Scott in Florida. Thurman Tuck would actually rank among the year's most expensive races for the U.S. Senate. There's been a lot of money spent uh, in commercials in this race. And the source of that money is at the heart of the race. Thurman's campaign, funded largely by the state teachers' unions. Uh, this race is all about protecting public education, and there are many who wish to derail it. Marshall Tuck, funded in large part by pro-charter school PAC money from outside California. And, and certainly some of supporters of mine uh, do believe that public charter schools have a role to play in public education. So what should voters make of an ordinarily quiet superintendent race running up a $43 million price tag? To me, what that says is that we need publicly financed campaigns. We need campaign reform. Well, I think it tells you that California is starting to finally focus on our public schools. In San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.